It's exciting. Um, anytime you've got the start of your practices, it, it always brings a new energy to the gym. Uh, nicely, nice thing about this preseason is we got a few more hours on the court. Uh, we were able to go four hours on the court, so we were able to advance a little quicker this year. Um, but there's something about the first week of practice that it's just a different feeling. Uh, there's an excitement, there's an energy. Um, I think it's because the guys know there's games getting close, we're about to play some other guys. They're getting to a point where they're excited to play somebody else instead of beating up on each other all the time. But uh, it's been fun. Um, you know, it's been a good week so far. We're excited for the start of it um, and we're ready to get rolling on the court. You know, both of those guys have had good careers for us, um, coming back in their third year of actual playing. Um, Joe was freshman of the year a couple years ago, had to do a different role for us last year in the, in the group that we had uh, with injuries and whatnot. He had to do some things that not necessarily his strength and that makes him, um, that didn't make him the best player he could be, but still had a great year for us. Um, and then Jerese kind of came into his own last year a little bit. Um, was good as a, as a freshman for us, but then as a sophomore, he took it to a new level. Uh, shot the ball extremely well and then added a couple other pieces to his game. So it's exciting to get those guys back on the court again this year um, as upperclassmen um, and to bring that experience to a lot of new guys that we have and, and to kind of show the guys how we play and, and the way we do things. So we're excited to get those guys back. Um, we're expecting big years out of both of them. It's not easy to replace guys like that. Um, those three seniors brought some leadership and brought some big things to our team and you know I think you replace it collectively. Um, we've got a very young group this year. We've got one senior on the team and he's a transfer so he's still trying to figure out things for us but um, I think between all um, the group of guys you can replace them um, as a group collectively and in different ways. Um, we've got, we're excited about the new guys we have. We're excited about the blend of new guys and returners so I think you can uh, continue to replace those guys with just a group effort. It's the younger guys stepping into bigger roles, um, younger guys taking another step in their game, developing. Um, all of them worked extremely hard in the off season. Uh, none of them were happy with the success that we had last year or, or the lack of success we had last year. So um, it, it put a little spark in them, a little, little fire and, and drove them to become better. And um, I think they have. I think every one of them have added pieces to their game and every one of them will be able to bring new pieces to, to the court this year along with the um, new guys that we brought in. Um, so like I said, it's been, a, it's been a great blend between the group. Uh, there's some good chemistry going right now um, and we're looking forward to you know, showcasing that on the court. You know, one of the, the things last year that we were missing a little bit was um, that point guard position, having somebody that could create and consistently create for our guys and get those guys open shots. And um, Lucas had a great preseason last year, was, was really kind of hitting his stride um, before, unfortunately, he tore his ACL in the exhibition game at UNI. And, um, it would be nice to get him back. Uh, he finally got cleared to uh, go live basically the first day he got on campus. Um, so he's still kind of working his way back in and, and getting used to the game, but he gets better and better every week. Um, so it'll be exciting to get him back on the court. And then, uh, you know, Jake is a, a very good player as well. Um, he's a, a true point guard. Uh, when you throw a bunch of shooters around him and, and guys that can score in different ways, uh, it makes him pretty good and it makes them pretty good. So um, he's really getting used to the game and kind of came in um, hitting the ground running. So it'll be good to see those guys get on the court. Um, we feel like we can play them both together. Um, they're both versatile enough that we can play them together, but uh, they're definitely going to let us get back to playing the way we want to play, which is a fast paced game. Mo had a huge presence in the paint last year and um, was you know, big blocking shots defensively and could finish at the rim. And um, the way you replace that is, is with a few new faces. Um, and a lot of them, um, those guys are all versatile in their own ways. Um, Dylan has been, you know, very good for a freshman as well, picking up stuff early, getting used to the flow of the game. Um, obviously, you've got Cade back. That's going to take a bigger role on this year as well. Um, and then you can mix it up and uh, go with a Josh Carter as a little bit smaller five or a four, more athletic four. And um, Jason's still working back from injury, um, but he gets better and better every day. So we're excited to see his progress and, and see where he'll go as well. First and foremost, good basketball players. <laughs> we all want you know good athletes and good basketball players that um, can step on the court and play at this level. It's one of the best um, division two conferences in the country. Uh, we truly believe that and uh, we need guys that can compete in the conference and, and help us win games. Um, and then from there, uh, high character kids. Um, kids that are willing to come here and be good academically. 
They're going to focus in the classroom. We've had over a 3.0 every year I've been here. Um, and then stay out of trouble off the, off the court. Um, and we don't have a problem with our guys doing that. So high character kids is huge for us. Um, you know, Fayette is a unique situation. Upper Iowa is a unique situation. It's a small town. It's an awesome community. Um, but you need to have good kids that support that community and, and fit in well in the community. So that's kind of what we look for. It's, it's kind of cliche, but family. Um, it's a huge family atmosphere with um, not only within the basketball program, but within the whole university, in the whole athletics department. Um, it's amazing how well the different teams support each other uh, when you've got over 500 student athletes on campus um, and it's the majority of your school. Um, it's kind of a unique feel and I think that's why kids come here and love it. Um, they get to make friends with the baseball players, the football, the volleyball, uh, softball, whatever it may be, and they go support those guys um, while they're playing. And then the same thing happens for us. At our games, our student section is, is part of our best crowds. So I think that's the, the special thing about UIU is not only are you watching them on the football field or the, the baseball field or whatever it may be, you're actually friends with those guys and gals, and you, you really feel like you're a part of their programs as well as your own.